Hi friends, this is Lauren from DMG School Project, located in St. Petersburg, Florida. Today we're going to do a glass blowing video for you and talk about the thermal shock of glass. Now thermal shock is caused by a very fast temperature change. We have Dan Alexander blowing glass for us today and myself Lauren assisting him and we have Danielle Bauer filming and editing our videos. Now Dan here has molten hot glass on the end of a blowpipe. And a blowpipe is like a big metal straw that we're able to blow through. And this tool in his hand is a wooden block and he dips this wooden block in water um, so that we don't burn the wood out with that molten glass. Now the glass he pulls out of the furnace is just over 2,000 degrees. And this glass becomes a solid or a frozen at 1,000 degrees. So it's gonna go from the 2,000 molten temperature to the 1,000 frozen pretty quickly, unless he reheats it. And we'll see him reheating it here in just a second. Um, but first he's gonna blow into it. So remember, it's like a big metal straw and he's able to blow through the glass, into the glass to expand it. And this is the reheating chamber we were just talking about. So he's able to keep the glass above a thousand degrees by using what we call a glory hole. And this glory hole runs about 2,500 degrees. And he's able to stick the pipe in there to heat up the glass as needed to keep it up to the molten temperature. What he's doing here is he's shaping his bowl. So we have made a bowl for you today um, to show you how we can change the temperature really rapidly um, because remember we are talking about thermal shock here. And so this glass becomes a solid or a frozen at about a thousand degrees. And he's able to use water here to thermal shock the glass where he wants it to break off the blowpipe. So we'd put a little dab of water and he's gonna bonk it and I'm gonna catch it with these Kevlar gloves. We're gonna set it here on the marver table. And now because this glass is frozen, so it's just under a thousand degrees right now, um, we're gonna take a piece of newspaper and drop it in to make sure you see it's still hot. This bowl is probably around 900 degrees at this point. And if it's hot, right? It creates a fire with just a piece of paper. And we got a cup of ice in here. We're gonna pour this ice into this really hot bowl and see what happens. Now, glass goes into thermal shock between 700 and 900 degrees, depending on the thickness of the glass. So here we go with a cup of ice. You can see all the little cracks happening at the bottom, instant cracks. And you can see the water is draining out all of those tiny little cracks. Because that ice melted really, really fastly. Um, and now it's just all draining. Now that bowl where the ice is um, cooled down way too fast, right? And so that's what thermal shock is, is a very fast temperature change. Um, and now we're going to do it the opposite way. We're going to take a room temperature bowl that we made for you a couple days ago, and we're going to pour molten glass into the bowl. I'm up hot, ready? And just like that, it breaks within a second. So glass does not like any sort of fast temperature change, whether you bring it too cold too fast or too hot too fast. Either way, it does not work for glass. So now let's try it with just a drinking glass, room temperature drinking glass that we made for you a few days ago, and some fire. Now this fire is heating up the glass really rapidly, which will also throw the glass into thermal shock. And 
found another demonstration for it is what if we take molten glass and make something out of it and it's still on the blowpipe and then we stick it in basically a big bucket of cold water. What do you think's gonna happen? I bet you it cracks, right? It's throwing the glass into thermal shock. Again, thermal shock is when it's a very fast temperature change and glass goes into thermal shock in both, whether it cools down too rapidly or it gets hot too rapidly. Um, a good example would be something that you could play with maybe at home or at school is if you had ice cubes and you took those ice cubes and you poured hot water on those ice cubes, what happens to the ice cubes? Yeah, they crack before they melt, right? And that is a form of thermal shock. So that is how you throw ice into thermal shock. Again, ice will crack if you put hot water on them. So here we go, we have hot glass still on the blowpipe. Now this glass is hot at about 1000 degrees frozen, but as soon as it touches that cold water, it starts to shatter and crack everywhere because it's going into thermal shock. And you can see it's still on the blowpipe. You can see the blowpipe coming down in the water there. So what happens if we take a room temperature vase and stick it in our hot glory hole, otherwise known as our reheating chamber? So this vase we made um, several weeks ago for this demonstration, and we just put it on the end of a pipe to stick it into the glory hole. Now this glory hole, remember, is about 24, 2500 degrees and it just popped within a minute, right? Let's watch that again, slow-mo, please. Wow, that's crazy cool. Now we did this in the safety of our shop and our studio and we are trained professionals um, and no one got hurt in the filming of Thermal Shock video. And that was so much fun learning with you today. Thank you for having us. Bye.